To make a puffer fish, you need a paper plate, some construction paper, paint in any color that you'd like, a pipe cleaner, a fork, scissors, and some glue. If you want to add googly eyes, that's great too, or you can cut eyes out of paper. The first thing you're going to do is start painting your puffer fish. You're going to take your paper plate, turn it upside down, and then you're going to use your fork as a paintbrush, put some of the paint, whatever color you want, in a bowl or on a paper plate, somewhere where it won't make a mess. And you're just going to dip your fork, and then you're going to tap the fork to the plate. And you're going to work your way all the way around the plate like that. You can use more than one color if you want, or you can do the fish all the same color. You could start in the middle and work outwards. I found starting it outside and working into the middle worked better. But try whichever way you like. And just keep filling them in. You might want to leave the edges so you have something to hold. You don't necessarily want to paint them all the way to the edge of the plate. Keep filling it in with your painted fork. Keep going until these filled in as much as you'd like. Once your puffer fish is all painted, set your paper plate aside to dry and take your piece of construction paper. Fold a piece in half so that you have two layers and then you're just going to cut any shape that you want your fins to be. You can make them circles, you can make them heart shape. I kind of like a triangle shape. Whatever you want would work fine. You just want two that are the same size. And there you go, you have two fins. You can set your fins aside. You're gonna wait until your plate's all dry to glue them and take your half a pipe cleaner and we're going to make the puffer fish's mouth with a half a pipe cleaner. And you're just going to wrap it around your finger, just like so, and just wrap it into a circle. Tuck your ends in, and there you have a circle mouth. And you can put that aside with your fins, because you're going to glue the mouth, the fins, and the eyes on once your plate is dry. Once it's all dry, glue your fins, and then you're going to glue on your eyes and your mouth. And if you don't have googly eyes or a pipe cleaner, you could just draw a mouth with marker or you could draw eyes and cut them out of paper or you could just use marker or paint and glue them or just draw them right on. And once your glue is all dry, there you have a puffer fish. Make a whole school of puffer fish and send us photos.